negative attitude towards Africa. In San Francisco, on African Liberation Day, Brother Walter Rodney, an African historian, noted both the importance of African Liberation Day in terms of our African identity and some of the root causes for our problem of identification. I have met brothers and sisters who say that their mother town, quote unquote, is French, Spanish, Dutch, Portuguese, as well as English, which we speak. And because of this, we have a problem of identification. We do not know whom we are. And that is why this gathering is of great symbolic importance, because it is an act of identification. We are saying that we identify with the African people of the African continent. We are saying that we are an African people. And when we make this identification, have no illusions about the fact that this is a very revolutionary initiative. It is a rejection of every other form of identification which the white society has asked us to accept. Let me draw your attention to something which white universities and white libraries practice. And this is a university community. Numerous universities lie around this land. Go into their libraries and check the Library of Congress cards on the Europe or European. You will find all entries listed concerning the continent of Europe. You will also find entries listed about Europeans in East Africa, Europeans in North Africa, Europeans in Asia and Australia. Look under the Chinese, you will find entries listed not only for mainland China, but for Malaysia and for the Chinese in, in, the, in North America. But look on the Africa and the Africans, the only entries on the Africans relate to the continent it, itself. There are no entries on the Africans overseas. There is no such category. Africans who have been raped from the continent mysteriously disappear and become Negroes.